Hi all, welcome to my video. This is the monthly haul that I kind of do where I like review everything I bought at the end of a month, within that month. Um, I'm just gonna say it straight up. I bought so much this month. I'm not satisfied with myself. If you don't know this, I've been doing a low buy since January. And I feel like I've shopped as much as I naturally would have if I hadn't done the low buy. So it's really bad. Like I'm, it's so embarrassing to share that with you guys. And I got very tempted to only show you the things that I actually needed, which I bought. Yeah, just pretend I had bought less or actually not do this video at all. But I wanted to share with you the needs that I'd fulfilled. I, I was really excited about that. And eventually I just thought, I don't know what changed my mind, but I just kind of started thinking if I am not honest with myself, then I can't heal. And if I'm honest with myself, then I might as well be honest with you. And it's not fair on you if I don't share the truth. And I guess I got a bit more comfortable with the fact that everybody makes mistakes. Nobody's perfect, especially on a journey like this. If you were perfect from the beginning, then you wouldn't need to go on the journey. <laughs> Only it's already May and I'm still a shopaholic. This was supposed to be a low by year and it's now going to be a low by hopefully six months. I don't know, but um, I feel like the month of June will be better. I will only buy two things that I need, like belts and um, an alarm clock. And I've already bought a, a jewelry box that will, I will tell you about that in, in the June haul, but um, or shall I just share with you? It was finally 50% reduced, so I finally went for it. I'd waited for it for a long time, so I feel like that was fair, but... Yeah, I, I'm i honestly hopeful for June. Um, I was going to do the detox month where I only invest in experiences, aside from what I actually needed. But now I'm thinking, should I do the detox month in July? Because the things that I need will also cost me money. The belts are really expensive that I found. Well, really expensive for me anyway. Um, so should I maybe do that in July and then only focus on experiences? But I feel like I keep dragging it out and I don't want to do that either. So I'm not entirely sure, but so much for the intro. Without further ado, let me show you what I bought. I will not be exclu uh, I will not be including the um, the hauls from the thrift. I did two thrift sprays. I won't be including those because of well, I've already shown them to you, but just because it's so embarrassing to have a pile of stuff, and I've already shown it, so I feel like I don't need to include it again. <sighs> I probably should because I need to stare the truth in the face, but. Oh, yeah, I might not do that. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Please give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more low buy updates and decluttering videos. And let's get started. One quick thing though, um, I've been getting loads of compliments on my outfit, so I wanted to share it. I'm wearing my My Little Pony tights. And this beautiful, I ended up getting egg on it, so I'm going to change it, but yeah, I'm pink lady today. <laughs> All right, let's start with these. I've been wanting a pair of denim shorts for the summer. Couldn't find anything because I wanted something a bit longer and everything's so short nowadays. I'm not 13 anymore. But I ended up finding two perfect ones. I love this one so much. This was Simply B. And I love this. I don't know what you call this, but I love this. And I love the color wash. And it's longer, so that's good. Although it's fraying on the bottom. Will maybe become a bit shorter soon, which is annoying. But I love these. If you're wondering what the noise is, that's my kitten. And then I have this pair from Yours Clothing. I love the flowers. It's also relatively long. And you can't really make it longer because you can't unfold.
for this, but the only thing is I had a bad experience with them, sort of, because I went by the size chart, ordered the size that was supposed to hit me, and it was way too big, so I had to return it, and they charged for returns one ninety nine, and I contacted them, and they wouldn't really solve my issue, and they would take ages to get back to me, like I'm still waiting. Um, they would say that they would investigate, but I wouldn't get my money back or anything, so, um, I had to buy several sizes, uh, like, three sizes to check which one would fit me, and finally, the smallest one fits me, and then I had to do another return, pay one ninety nine again, because they have the wrong size chart on the website. And like I said, I'm still waiting for the reply. They said they need to investigate and they will get back to me when it's done. And I'm still waiting. And it's been several weeks. This was over, this was at the beginning of the month of May. So this is what I don't like about yours clothing. But apparently somebody told me today that Next sells yours clothing. So apparently you can do that without the returns and then the other thing I needed were tights in a neutral tone because like I said I've got this and I've got my funky leggings but that doesn't go with every look even though I like them way more so I got these two from snag tights I don't like that they're not natural but then the bamboo one was like orange and I I like this mustard color better and this is called root beer I haven't worn them yet haven't tried them on yet but this is way more red than I thought but it's still lovely so I have two so I can swap one out I feel so much but I needed these and then I have two also, I might um let go of my leggings for these because they just fit way better. My leggings are kind of more comfortable material-wise because they're cotton. But these just fit way better. They're so stretchy. These look really small for a girl my size. If you look at... These look this small, but they actually stretch to my... You just saw my waist when I showed you the dress. They stretch to my size. So I can really recommend snack tights to any big girls out there if you're interested because or to men <laughs> if you're into that stuff <laughs> uh, because they just know how to make I don't know how to explain it but obviously if you're bigger you may have wider hips or wider a wider tummy in proportion to your wider legs. And what usually what brands do is just make the smaller sizes bigger and then they don't factor in how much bigger your tummy might be or your hips might be. But these do and they have a lot of stretch so they're really good. But the only thing is I want more um, natural materials which I couldn't find. And I've been wearing these today. They're, they're kind of really hot. They're kind of warm but cold at the same time. I'm so confused with this weather. Like yesterday it was 20 degrees and it felt really cold. So confusing. Anyway. But yeah, I've, I also bought two with merino wool content. I don't remember how much. But I feel like... I'm not sure if I should exchange them because I feel like this... It just seems a little bit tight. No, I can't try. I don't know. No, I was gonna burn over this. Like, upside down, but... No. I have to hold the camera as well, so it's not gonna work out. Yeah, I need to, like, try them on again and really be sure, but... Um... Because my size is F in these. They have, like, their own sizing. But F fits me really nicely normally, but this is kind of... I don't know if it's tight or if it works. I'm so confused, but... Anyway, like, these will be warmer for the winter, so I also got two. So that I can, like, wash one while I'm wearing one, if it ever comes to me wearing dresses. <laughs> like, 
straight after another rather than swapping two pants. Yeah, just for the winter, I got these two. It seems like so many to buy at once, like four at once, but two are for the winter and two for the summer or spring and autumn because in the summer maybe you won't need any tights anyway, but... And this was the color Sand Dollar, which I think looks really nice and neutral. There were other ones that I wanted that were a bit more funky, but I was like, no, I'm only going to buy what I need. And unfortunately, these don't work with everything that I got. It works with a dress like this, but my floral skirt, for example, I feel like the patterns would clash. So yeah, this is so 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 much for what I needed. Then I bought something that um I wanted for a long time. So it it, it falls under my rules that I'm allowed to buy it. And this you may recognize it. This side up, dun dun dun, the tales of Beetle the Bard, which is the collector's edition which is very sought after and very expensive but i got it for a good price but like altogether i feel like it seems like a lot of money to spend but i wanted it for such a long time so i finally did it and i got one which still comes with this original packaging which a lot of them are like have like um, where the material is a little bit affected, um, damaged from handling and stuff. So it has J.K. Rowling's signature. I'm just going to show you because it's so cool. One second. This is what it looks like. The only thing that I didn't know is that the shine has come off of this. I feel like it devalues it a little bit, but... I didn't complain or anything, but I feel like he should have mentioned that in the listing. But anyway. Oh, if you don't know, it's um, Harry Potter related, obviously. Well, not obviously, because J.K. Rowling has written. What? This something vacancy as well. I don't remember what it's called, but anyway. um, Yeah, it's the taste of Beetle the Bard tells of. The um, the tale of those three um, Deathly Hollows. So she wrote the whole book for the Tales of Beetle Bard, the fairy tale. And it says, translated by Hermione Granger, commentary by Albus Dumbledore. Which, I don't know how that made, like, when would that have happened? Because he died. So, like... And would she have done? She wouldn't have done it while she was at school, so it doesn't make any sense. But anyway, and this is like handwritten. Well, it's not handwritten, but it's it's copied from her handwriting. Like, and then also it's got little illustrations i think these are the original ones that she actually in her notes like drew this as far as i'm aware and then it comes with i think it's 10 collector's edition prints can i grab these out of here oh i put them in the wrong way um which I think are also original drawings by J.K. Rowling. Is it Rowling or Rowling? I've heard it said both ways and I'm not a native speaker, so. And so forth. Yeah. I wanna buy another one so I can sell one on cause they will get more expensive as time goes on. But I want one to keep for myself. Okay, um, let me quickly put this all back and then I'll show you the rest. I just want to keep mine nice so I always put it back in here. And then I bought stuff that I didn't need. But 
I will be returning some of them. This is a towel with a hoodie, which is so cool. It's got this hoodie. I love the idea, and I got this reduced because I had because there was an event going on for fifteen percent off. So got it for twelve seventy five. I love the design, it's so cute. I love that it's cotton, I love that it has a hoodie, or like a hood. But I don't know how practical it will be in actual reality. Because usually I put my towel over my head. And, and I have, my gown is, uh, also has a hood um, in itself, so I don't need this really. Then I was thinking maybe when I, if I dry myself and wear something straight after washing myself, I could use this for my hair. But I feel like my hair wouldn't stay up in the hood. It would like fall over my shoulders and make my clothes wet. And my husband said it's too small for my body size, but I feel like it works, but. I might return this. I think I will return it. Because I want to buy the belts from that money. Then we have a set of a summer trouser. And well, this was kind of within my... I mean, these were kind of within my rules because I don't have anything like this. But it was also not in my rules because I don't really need it. It's like, I don't really need it. It's it's not it doesn't seem as practical as you want it to be. Then this fell under my rules because I don't I only have one set of something. And also I I've been looking for another pair of summer trousers because the one that I own that I only have one that I like, then I have one that I don't like and I I kind of want another one that I like, like longer summer trouser. But this gives me a camel toe. And this one is kind of open between the buttons. So, like, it's kind of too sexy for me. I don't know. I mean, sexy looks good, but I feel like I don't need everyone staring at me. So, I'm just not comfortable with it. I'm not sure if. I just don't have a... I feel like it's not a confidence thing. It's more a social anxiety thing. Because I'm just not 17 anymore, so... But the main reason why I will be returning these is that I remembered this dress. Because I saw it at the shop. I had seen it online and I re I'd resisted it. Because I don't need more dresses. But then I was like, here I am buying this. Which is kind of mediocre. When I could be owning this. So. I bought it in two sizes. And will be returning one. And I'm going to return this. I'm going to return this. So actually it's not as bad. Then I'll be left with. Oh, yeah. The. The stuff that I needed. And one thing that I wanted for a long time. And one naughty thing. That I shouldn't have bought. But I also have obviously the things from the thrift hauls. Oh, this month was just kind of off the rails, but like I said, I'm pretty confident at the moment that I can do better next month, so let's hope for the best. This is, I don't know if these are wild roses or cherry blossoms. I believe they're cherry blossoms, but this is just so beautiful. And also, it's 82% viscose, which I always like. You all already know by now that I like natural fabrics. But it will also be perfect for the summer because viscose is so airy. And I'm not, like, my rules was that if I buy something new that I don't need, that I should get rid of one thing. So I'm thinking this one maybe. Because kind of only bought it because I was on sale. I didn't love the sleeve shape. But 
I also like this dress, so I, I'm not sure if I... It's kind of like you are holding me accountable, but I feel like nobody... There are no consequences if I don't stick to my rules, so it's kind of really hard. Maybe this one. Or maybe this one, which is gorgeous, but I only wore it once, but I just don't feel like reaching for it again. So maybe this one, actually. I could do that. I don't know. Yeah, with returning these, it will be a little bit better, but... And then from the money that... From the returns... I almost have enough money to get the two belts that I want. Because I only have one belt that fits me properly. And I was, like, and I was like, they're so expensive, maybe I should get only one. But then I was thinking... This month, here I am shopping for, like, loads of things that I don't need. And wasting my money on them. Why don't I rather invest in something that I actually do need and will uh, that will come to good use in my home? Like, why am I stingy when it comes to things that I need? But then am I so then I'm so wasteful when it comes to things that I don't comes to things that I don't need. So I think I will buy both belts and let's see how it goes. But I mean, I'm aware that technically I could make use with the one that I have. So two should be like enough, but. I feel like it's, I probably have the least of belts in out of all the categories, so why am I spending on something that I actually need, if that makes sense, rather than random stuff that I'm just gonna end up returning because it's too much. In case you're wondering, the cardigan was just there because um I wore it today with my pink outfit. <laughs> The pinks are a little bit different, but also in this light, this looks really orange, but it's it's actually pink. Um, yeah, that is it. I hope you liked my video and my review or like my analysis of how I'm doing. Please remember to like and subscribe if you like this video. It would really help out my channel and. You'll benefit by getting more low buy content and decluttering videos and some food videos sprinkled in and some vlogs sometimes sometimes <laughs> um and yeah leave me a comment about how it's going for you if you're doing a low buy or what are some strategies you would use to shop less and then i'll see you in the next one let me know what you thought about my thoughts on how i'm doing like, I'm glad I'm I'm still in the time frame to return some of those things because it makes it a little bit better. <laughs> but next month, I'm if I only make it a month, then I think it's more doable actually. So let's see how it goes. But I feel like no more unnecessary shopping. Oh, an idea that I had. What I want to try out is every time if I have time, at that time, every time that I want to go shopping, I'm gonna do a mindfulness meditation which sometimes it may not work if you're out and about and passing your favorite shop and you're like I really want to go and buy something there and you're on your way to something you might not have the time but maybe on the bus you can do it but maybe you can't um, but I don't know it's just something that I want to try out let's see how it goes I don't know if it will help but it's just something that I'm going to divert my attention to meditation and let's see how it works all right, thanks for watching again and take good care of yourselves. I wish you all the best of luck with your shopping endeavors while well, your low buy endeavors. And I'll see you soon. Bye.